Hi guys, this is Lauren with Lauren Watkins Art and today I'm sharing what I made my husband for Christmas. I know Christmas was last month and last year, but I had to wait until it was over before I could share it and then with the chaos of the holidays and stuff, um, it ended up just falling behind schedule before I could even do the voiceover. So I'm sharing it now and Grabby was kind enough to sh send me these wood slices and I decided to use them for his gift. We have some big financial goals that we're trying to reach like paying off student loans and things like that like the true Millennials we are and so we said uh, we decided that we weren't really gonna spend very much on presents for each other but I wanted to do something special and over the years we have collected all kinds of ornaments from different places we've lived and vacations we've gone to um, if we're looking for like a souvenir from a vacation we usually try to find something that can be used as a ornament on our Christmas tree and that inspired me to paint some ornaments for our tree that represent kind of our marriage and our marriage story so when the package arrived from Grabby I primed the wood slices with some clear gesso and let that dry completely and then I sketched out the shapes of whatever I was painting with a number two pencil and then I started painting with my acrylic paints. Um, I would really recommend priming your surface. Um, if you just paint on raw wood, your colors are going to really absorb into the wood. It's going to make the colors be more affected. They're not going to stay true to what they're supposed to look like. Um, they won't blend as well, things like that. So you really want to prime the surface. You don't have to use a clear gesso like I did. That's just all I had on hand. But the gesso just created a little bit of tooth for the paint to stick to, but wasn't too rough. These wood slices were also sanded to a really, really smooth texture, which I appreciated because I've bought wood slices from Hobby Lobby and Michaels in the past. And sometimes they are really, really roughly cut, and so they need to be sanded. And you don't want to take that extra step, or at least I don't, um, before I paint. So I didn't have to sand these. I didn't have to do any other prep work other than adding the primer, which was fantastic. I also like that they didn't send too small of wood slices, because I've bought like mixed bags of wood slices uh, and some of them are so tiny that you can't hardly paint anything on them. So there was variation in size with these, but they all were a reasonable size that you could use for ornaments. I did purchase a few other wood slices to go with this project that were just a little bit bigger, and you'll see them in a little bit, but that was just because I needed something quite large for what I was painting. But if you want to check out these wood slices, if you're interested in, in trying this project on your own or wanting to do some like Valentine's tags or something like that, you can check out the link in my description box. And if you want to use my discount code, it is Lauren15, and that will get you 15% off. Again, this isn't sponsored by Grabby. They just sent me these supplies, and I really like them. And if you want to try them out, you are welcome to. So if you haven't guessed what I'm painting yet, it is Delicate Arch, which is found in Arches National Park in Utah. And this was actually where my husband and I went on our very first vacation that we planned 100% on our own. Um, we were taking spring break. I had been to Moab with my family in the past, and we decided to go to Moab to do some hiking. And, it was in, and after this trip, we went all the time. Like multiple times a year, we would go rock climbing. We've been um, mountain biking, which is our favorite thing to do there, hiking, all of that. And we've taken our kids, and we just, we really love um, Moab, Utah. And it has a special place in our heart. Even though the first time we went, we about froze to death because even though it was 70 degrees during the day in March, it, it got to freezing temperatures at night and we borrowed a tent from our parents which was their old tent and it didn't have a very good rain uh, cover on it and so when it rained um, our stuff got wet and we were too poor to get a hotel room so we uh, we had quite the adventure on this first trip and we laugh about it all the time 
Um, so I wanted to do an ornament to represent that and our love for Moab. But I thought a lot about different highlights and experiences from our 13 years of dating and marriage and all of that. And I wanted to kind of pick out some of the highlights. There are some more ornaments that I do want to paint, but I just ran out of time because the holidays are just crazy busy and I didn't have enough time to paint everything I wanted. Um, but I'm going to walk you through kind of the ornaments we painted um, to represent our marriage so far. Um, one thing that was interesting with working with acrylics, which I don't do very often, is I realized I had to remember how um, transparent some of these colors could be, especially like some of the reds and the oranges. And so I had to do like a, a white or an off-white underpainting that was more opaque and then to bring those highlights back and then glaze the more transparent oranges and reds over the top so that they would show up. Um, so it was, it was funny because I had to think of some of those techniques that I do in watercolor and apply them to my acrylic paints. Um, once I got the basic um, shapes and everything done with the painting, then I just went in with my micron pen to add a little bit of an illustrative edge and some details to the picture. Since these paintings are so small, and I am not very good at painting super small with acrylic paints because they are not my normal medium, I um, realized that I needed to kind of lean into that illustrative style. But I was really happy with the painting and it brought back lots of, lots of memories and it was really fun to do. Um, I find that with acrylic paints, I do like working small like this, um, probably because the paint doesn't dry too quickly on me. Um, that's my biggest frustration with acrylic paints is how quickly they dry. So I found that this was really helpful. And I actually, my favorite color when working on this was a color that was like an off-white. It wasn't a pure white. So that was the finished ornament. And then here are kind of the pictures from our first stage. So we went to Utah State. That's where we met. And that's where we got our undergrad degrees. And then the first month we were dating, um, I got tonsillitis twice and my family joked that I got it from kissing him too much and called him the germ so that was his nickname is the germ and then we worked as ski and snowboard instructors while we were dating and so that's a picture from the resort that we worked at and then while we were working in the snow we would make snowmen all the time and so my husband made kissing snowmen for when he proposed and so I did some kissing snowmen to remember to remember when he proposed to us a picture of where we got married, which is the LDS temple in Logan, Utah. And then our trip to Moab, which I showed you earlier. And then a pink bow to represent kind of this last stage of life. We had our daughter during our last year of our undergrad degrees and had to take her to classes <laughs> during that time. And here is just a close-up of those snowmen. So after we graduated, we moved to Washington. So I drew an apple. It's kind of cliche to draw for the state of Washington, but it's very fitting. They had a lot of apples there. We were in kind of a farming area. And while we were there, my husband was going to medical school and getting his training. So I just drew some things to kind of represent that stage in our lives. And it was a really stressful time. It was my first time living in a, like a whole different state from my family. We were just figuring out how to be parents during that time and figuring out life in med school because that was a whole different dynamic. Um, but it was really good and there was a lot of great things that happened and we're really grateful for the people that we met during that time. I also drew a choo-choo train to represent our second child which was born during our time in Washington. He loved choo-choo trains and would call him his choo-choos and so I drew that to represent him. After our time in Washington we moved to Idaho and I'd love to say we loved our time in Idaho but it was just a really hard time in our lives but we rented this little tiny house that was kind of this yellow color and I'll have to say that the picture I drew of it is a lot cuter than what it looked like in real life but it had a fully fenced yard and it was our first time having our own yard and our kids loved it. Um, and the challenges that we faced while living in Idaho pushed me into art. And so 
as hard as that time period was in my life, I'm really grateful for it because it made me find art again. Another amazing thing that happened in Idaho was our youngest was born. He was just what I needed while my husband was living across country for almost a year. And I was in Idaho by myself with these kiddos. He was my snuggle buddy and I am forever grateful for that. And he loved yellow dump trucks. So that's what I painted to represent him at that stage. Then after Idaho, my husband graduated medical school, which was huge. And then we moved for my husband's residency program, which was located in Montana. And in Montana is where I started my YouTube channel. Um, it was very cold. Um, every winter we lived there, they set some kind of record, whether it was the most snow on record, the coldest February on record. It was cold and I shoveled a lot of snow. And so I thought it was fitting that our house that we rented there would be represented with snow. We also chased a lot of sunsets. Montana is called the Big Sky State for a reason. And that is something I miss so much about living in Montana is the gorgeous, huge sky that they have up there. So we did, we chased a lot of sunsets. And then my son um, loved his Superman cape. He got a Superman cape from his grandparents one year for Christmas while we lived there. And he wore it for two years straight until it basically dissolved. And I would have to sneak into his room and take it off at night so he wouldn't strangle himself. But we have so many pictures of him riding a tricycle with his cape flapping behind him. After Montana, we moved to Utah. Like peak pandemic, everything was still on lockdown. I do not recommend moving to a new state during that time frame because it's a little chaotic. But we moved and we bought a house and we remodeled it. I did a recent video on how I remodeled my art studio. Um, and we live close to the mountains and I drew a picture to represent um, a view from the canyon that we live next to and all the rock climbing and hiking and snowboarding and stuff that we've been able to do up there and family time because now that my husband isn't in school and isn't a permanent student we actually get to spend quite a bit of family time together and then I do some makeup to represent my daughter she is very artistic and she loves doing like makeup and face painting so her brothers will regularly come upstairs and She'll have painted them to look like a wolf or some kind of creature, and they have a lot of fun with that. And then my son loves Minecraft, and I don't understand it, and I get motion sickness from just watching the screen, but he tells me a lot about it and tells me it's pretty cool. So I drew an ornament to represent that. And then on the back of each ornament, I wrote a little bit about why I, I drew that and why it's important to our family story. And I have a lot more ornaments planned in the future for more things in the past that I want to document that I ran out of time to do. And I hope to add to it with each year to document our family story. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.